Hey Leo, welcome to your July 2021 general reading. This reading will be for Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. Remember to watch your Moon and Rising Sign video to get all of the messages you can for the month of July. And also, this is a collective reading, so everything may not resonate with you, but if this reading does not resonate with you at all, I would highly recommend you check your uh, Moon and Rising video, video signs to see if that resonates better. If you're new to my channel, comment your birthday down below, represent for Leo Gang, and let's get started. Universe, please pick up on the energy of Leo's Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign for the month of July. Give me one card to represent Leo's overall energy, one card to represent the challenges facing Leo, one card to represent the recent past, one card to represent the energies coming toward Leo in the near future, and one card to represent the overall outcome for Leo in the month of July. Whoa, we got two cards flying out. Three of Pentacles and Two of Swords. Okay, there's something here that you need to work out, Leo. Um, something that requires cooperation, but I feel like you're at a crossroads here. You don't know what decision to make. This is going to require you working with someone else, compromising, coming to an agreement but you're not really sure how to go about that. All right, let's get started, Leo. That was a message that wanted to come in right away. What is the energy that Leo is in, your overall energy? <laughs> of course, you are in Leo mode, okay? Feeling like yourself, feeling confident, feeling empowered, okay? Feeling like you're in control, feeling your strength as well. Feeling pretty good, Leo. Now, your challenge here is the Seven of Cups. So this could have to do with some sort of confusion and, and about options that you may have. Now, remember you had the um, Three of Pentacles and the Two of Swords comes up, which is saying that you're at a, a crossroads here. There's a decision that you need to make, but maybe you haven't made it just yet because you, you want to avoid some sort of conflict because I feel like it involves other people. Um, but you're really confused right now as far as what you want to do. Um, and you're confused emotionally. It's almost as if you won't, you don't know what decision to make because you don't want to make the wrong decision. You're fearful. Um, you may not want to hurt someone. You may not want to hurt yourself. We will clarify these. Now, in the recent past, we have the five of wands. So lots of fighting, okay? Disagreements. Um, this could be the reason why there's so much emotional confusion around you. Um, but I do get that you um, are in some sort of like argument or fight or battle or competition with someone in the recent past. What's coming towards you in the near future, though, is the Nine of Cups. So this could talk about you kind of winning some sort of battle, getting what it is that you want, getting some type of emotional satisfaction here. But I do get this sense, Leo, that you don't feel it's almost like you won, but you don't feel like you won. It's like you, you've accomplished something, but when you look inside those cups, it's like, ah, it is this, but is this really what I wanted? You know, um, these cups that are giving me emotional fulfillment are also making me question myself or doubt myself or, or question the choices that I made um, or making me feel like my emotions are clouding my decision making. But either way, I see there's like some sort of Victory or getting what it is that you want out of a, a battle situation. Now, the outcome for you is the Ace of Swords. So this is new beginnings, new ideas, um, judgments happening here. You have the Tower card at the bottom of your deck. So this is talking about something definitely coming to a head, falling apart. Things that are meant to fall apart will fall apart in the month of July, Leo. I do see new beginnings, cutting something off could likely have to do with these arguments, could talk about a victory coming out of arguments, finding a way to resolve something that makes everyone happy. But let's see what's exactly going on here for you, Leos, okay? We're gonna use the mini version of the Rider Waite deck. And I will clarify probably all of these, but let's see. Universe, why is, you know what, let's skip right here to the Seven of Cups. <laughs> Why is Leo's challenge in the month of July the Seven of Cups? 
Why is Leo's challenge in the month of July, the Seven of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles? I feel as if you want to do something here, you're, but you're hesitant to do it. You're hesitant to do it because you're worried of all these different scenarios, or maybe you could be fearful of fights or arguments happening here or making the wrong choice. Tell me more about the Seven of Cups. Why is this in the fears? You have the Magician here as well. There's this want of yours to make something happen, but you're very hesitant and confused about how to go about doing it or if you want to do it. I feel like you have a lot of options But emotionally, it's it's hard for you to make a decision. That is your challenge here. Why is the five of wands here in the recent past? What's this conflict about? Yeah, you're just tired of fighting. Really what I'm getting here, you're tired of fighting. You have two nines here, which is saying that you're just ready to be happy, to be at peace. You have two nines. We have an, an ace here, which means you do want some sort of new beginning. You want something to be over. But there's a lot to sort out before you can move past this situation. But I feel like you don't want to drag on the fighting. You're, you're kind of at a point where I don't want to fight anymore. Why is the Nine of Cups here and the energy coming towards Leo in the near future? Why is the Nine? You have the Ten of... of wands here that kind of flipped out oh another ten well wow. and the ten of cups yeah this is bringing an end to a situation an ending to a situation that was emotionally draining um that was keeping you stuck keeping you from manifesting the things that you want in life something that was causing a lot of conflict and chaos in your life will be coming to an end here in the month of july uh, leo so yay all right, this is something that you've been dealing with for a while. This is a burden that will be released. On comes the new beginning. Here you are again showing up in your reading. I can never do a reading for a Leo without you guys showing up <laughs> in the reading. So you're definitely making your presence known here. Um, this new beginning though, this this what is this Ace of Swords representing in the outcome for Leo? What is this Ace of Swords representing in the outcome for Leo? The King of Cups. This could be a new beginning with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Tell me more. Now you have the Queen of Pentacles. This could even be you having a clean slate or cutting yourself off from a situation. Maybe I, I do get the sense that like maybe you were fighting with someone. This could have been a significant other. But that's all going to come to an end here. There will be a clean slate or a new beginning between two parties. The moon card. You know, this was a situation that caused a lot of fear, a lot of stress, anxiety, worries, doubts. But with the Ace of Swords, it's telling me that that's all going to be cleared away. The Ace of Swords is having clarity, um, having victory, um, seeing things very clear and being clear of thought as well. Tell me more about this new beginning. Many of you could have Pisces here as well. You have Justice and you have another Ace, Ace of Pentacles. So to me, this is saying that for you, Leo, you're ready for something to be over. You're ready to stop fighting. You're ready for all of this confusion and chaos around you to end. Because realistically, you want to move forward and you want to manifest things into your life. But you're having a tough time doing that because you're still stuck in something from the past you're still dealing with whether it's external conflicts or internal conflicts but your wish for this to all be over is coming very soon and that leads you to justice right a clean slate a new beginning possibly with another person possibly with the pisces i feel like many of you feared this new beginning but now you have no choice but to trust it. 
because you can't go backwards anymore. You have to trust that the that whatever lies ahead of you is much better than what you left in the past. So it's almost like taking, you know, a leap of faith here. All right, Leos. So that is going to be your reading. Um, if you would like to do a private reading with me, please know that I'm going to be on vacation from now until July 8th. So if you're watching this video after July 8th, feel free to book a reading with me. My website is down below where you can do so. Um, anything before that, if you do decide to book a reading, it's going to take a, a little while for me to get back to you. So keep that in mind. Um, so Leos, thank you so, so much for watching. If you resonated with the video and made it this far, please hit the like button. Um, also, if you resonated with the messages and you want to see more from me, you can subscribe and hit the bell notification. This way you'll, no you'll be notified whenever I upload again. All right, Leos. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. Bye.